Hi everyone, it is March 27th, 2020. It's a Friday and it's not a typical Friday and it's not a typical March. It's um, been a little uh, crazy this year so far and I'm pretty sure I don't need to tell any of you what's going on because the whole world is experiencing this right now. So I'm here today really just to talk. Honestly, this is for me just kind of art therapy. Um, I'm <laughs> this, I know you're looking at something kind of crazy right now, but um, this is my current project here. And even though we're going through these really hard times, I'm really finding that art is very important right now. Um, it's, it, it's an escape. First of all, it's an escape. It's therapeutic. It's calming. And for me, it's just, it's really my medicine. Art is my medicine. So I am just here today, really. I'm not doing a tutorial. I'm just going to kind of talk about, um, art therapy really, and give you guys some ideas of things that maybe you can do to be creative around the house, things that you can paint. Um, you know, some non-traditional ideas. I'm a huge fan of upcycling things and recycling. So I find, um, really, I like to find things at the thrift store that I f find unique and I see something in that piece. Like, so I found this at the thrift store. Now you've probably seen one of these before and it's, it's a, it looks like a book. This was probably circa 1990 something. I think I paid like, I don't know, maybe three to five dollars for this at the thrift store, but it opens up and it's a stash. It's a nice big stash box, but this, this box here is pretty big and there's a lot of room for stuff in here. So I immediately fell in love with this. It was completely hideous when I bought it. it there was nothing exciting about it. I don't even remember what was on the front of it. I don't think anything. I think just a title of some made up book. So I took it home. And it's been sitting in my studio for probably about, I don't know, probably four or five months. And since, you know, we are in quarantine right now, and I've personally been in quarantine for probably about three weeks now. Um, this is my third weekend, at least. I decided this would be a great time to pull this out and just do something with it. So when I found this piece at the thrift store, I bought this at a value village, I literally knew immediately what I was going to paint on this. And just because it's a stash box, you know? So first thing I thought was Cheech and Chong. <laughs> so I ended up following through with that idea. And I just finished up the painting part of this yesterday. I've put down one coat of um, Liquitex satin varnish. So like I said before, I'm not really doing a tutorial today. I'm really just having some art therapy, just talking to you guys about art. It's, I'm kind of down in the dumps today, you know, been in quarantine for a few weeks now and uh, it's getting to me. So I just really kind of want to talk to everyone and just try to be positive today and give everyone some positive ideas on things they can do at home. So since I already finished painting this, I've got one coat of this satin varnish. I'm just gonna keep talking and chatting your ear off and I'm gonna just keep working on this. A little ways to go. I did a real thin coat on there so it doesn't really look good right now, but I haven't even done the back side. So this is just one example of what I just wanna talk about today. It's just finding things to upcycle and make beautiful. Um, I really wanna encourage people and I'm sure you guys are already doing this, um, but try to stay creative and. If, if anything comes out of this, I would sure love to see a lot of beautiful art come from this whole experience. Okay, so just some examples of some other um, projects that I've done similar to this one here is, uh, I did this Grateful Dead Bears. This is really fun too. And it's just the same thing, it's just a box. I love boxes for some reason. <laughs> They're fun to paint. Here's another one I did with Shaggy and Scooby. Um, again, just something that I found at like a garage sale. So you can definitely, once life resumes and goes back to normal, you can find these things. But for now, look in your house and see what you have, if you have any interesting things like these. Now, if you don't have paint, you can also maybe decoupage or you can um, find other ways to decorate. 
you know, maybe bedazzle it. You have a hot glue gun and some old jewelry or, you know, things like that. Just, you really have to get creative with what you have in your home. You know, you have a rock laying around, you can paint a big rock. Find a nice flat surface, or you can also find a rock that is shaped like something. If you really want to get creative, look through creative eyes and look for rocks that have unique shapes. And then go, what does this look like? Um, one time I painted a sandwich, <laughs> a sandwich out of a big rock because it was shaped like a piece of bread and it had a nice thick sides and it was really fun to paint the tomatoes and the lettuce and everything on the sides. This is a wine carrier I've upcycled. I also found this at a thrift store. It was pretty unattractive when I got it and it had a bunch of like grapes on it and it was really ugly, dingy colors. So I wanted to do something fun with it. And as you guys know, I'm really into pop culture. So I wanted to paint um, the Flintstones and I wanted them to be enjoying wine while in bedrock. So here's another project I've done at home recently. And this was uh, done with the help of some fabric medium. And you can get fabric medium on Amazon for pretty cheap and a little bit goes a long way. So um, the bottle that I use is uh, four ounces and this four ounce bottle will actually last quite a while, but it's great because you mix it at a 50-50 ratio with your paint. And then when you paint it on your fabric, the acrylic actually stays nice and it bends and it keeps it softer um, so that it doesn't crack. And it also makes it to where it can last quite a while and withstand uh, numerous washings and dryings and wearings. So this is after I've already washed and dried it. I like to um, make sure it's nice and set before I put it up for sale. So this was a really fun project I did on a pair of thrifted jeans. So I, I chose these jeans because I really liked how they were distressed and um, they were pretty cool and very inexpensive. So I thought that these would be great. These are a man's pair of jeans. They're, I think they're a 32, 34 or something like that. So I knew they were pretty standard size and um, so that's what I did. And I, I uh, put the cash on the right leg and I did the portrait on the left leg. So just kind of something fun and I kept it down low, down by the ankle so you don't have crazy paint going all the way up the leg, but um, I kind of like how this turned out. So another fun idea is to paint fabric. Another project I did with fabric medium and acrylic paint, this one of Amy Winehouse, and this one has quite a few layers of paint on it, but it will still wear nice and it will, this is after it's been washed and dried. So as you can see, it still held on to a lot of the paint because I'm very, um, I'm very, very generous with my fabric medium. I generally will mix it 50-50 with the paint, but then I also like to go over it with like a top coat of this before um, I let it set for 24 hours and then I will wash and dry it, see where I'm at, and I'll do touch-ups as needed. It. So it's a nice inexpensive way to um, do some crafts at home find some denim anything that's denim this is actually a denim dress that I got and it's absolutely adorable it's belted and uh, I thought this would work perfect for a project so that's what I did all right so you're like why do I have two candlesticks here well this is another upcoming project of mine and this is again just trying to um, get your creativity going and get you thinking um, of ways to upcycle these are wood solid wood and I also, you guessed it, got them at a thrift store. So I plan on using these in the future, one of these days when I get time. And I'm going to paint faces on each one of these. I'm going to make them into people, essentially. Who, I don't know yet. I'm gonna do, you know, like I just did that Cheech and Chong box. Maybe I did Cheech and Chong. I'm not gonna do Cheech and Chong on candle holders, but uh, you know, I'll, I'll try and think of a fun duo of two people that I will do on these. So again, just another example of things that you can find around the house that you can paint or um, upcycle. Here's another idea of something creative to do. I actually 
found a really cool um, vase I had and I put some LED Christmas lights inside of it. And then I picked some branches from a tree and made this nice arrangement. Just something to get you outside, make something creative for the home. And I also made, this one's a little wonky right now, but um, I also have one that's hanging on my wall there next to a painting. So yeah, just a little something different. Another um, piece that I did that is really creative. And what I did here is I took a bunch of old newspapers that I had found. Um, believe it or not, they were actually used as insulation in my home. I live in a 120 year old house and um, we put new siding on last year and I found a bunch of old newspapers in there. So I went ahead and I took those newspapers and saved them for a project and this is what I used them for. I kind of decoupaged them on a, um, gosh, this piece was actually a piece that someone had given me. So it, it this was something from like TJ Maxx and it had like a nautical theme and it was kind of, you know, just kind of frumpy and boring. So I went ahead and I took these newspapers and I and I laid them all out and once I got them on there then I did a painting over it and I kind of did the painting so you could still see the newspaper through it because I wanted it to be somewhat translucent as you can see up close okay and then and then um painted over it and then I did a varnish multiple coats of varnish over that that was a really fun creative think outside of the box kind of project. Oh yeah, check it out, it's Sea Biscuit. But these newspapers were all from uh, right before World War II. Cause there was, we found lots of articles about Germany, which were very interesting. And then here I did a, uh, I painted on wood. Here I made this piece myself and then painted it. So if you have access to wood or something, it's really fun painting on wood. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just work on this and chat. Again, like I said, just art therapy today. I need to finish um, varnishing this piece. So I'm gonna put some of my varnish into a, um, a plastic container. I like to save plastic containers from, let's say like little applesauce cups or yogurt, things like that. And I use them for palettes and I also use them to hold my varnish. Okay, so while I'm varnishing, I'm just gonna chat. We're just gonna chat today. So first of all, I wanna see how everyone's doing out there. If you wanna check in in the comments below, I would love to hear from you. Just what are you doing to keep yourself occupied during these crazy times right now? Um, I wanna give a shout out to all the people that are still working, all those on the front lines, you guys are amazing. You're keeping us all going right now. And um, I just want to extend my personal thanks. For the rest of you, I'd like to hear what you're doing to keep yourself sane and busy during these uh, days of quarantine. Here in the Seattle area, we've been in quarantine. Well, the governor didn't, didn't put us on absolute quarantine until like a week, you know, this week. But um, it's been very obvious that there's been a big problem brewing in our area here in the Pacific Northwest and uh, from a while ago. So really I've been pretty much, my husband and I have been um, on self quarantine here for, like I said, we're going into our third weekend. And as people who love to travel and um, socialize. This is very difficult. Uh, it was, you know, I'm, I'm a loner too though, you know, I, I really can entertain myself. So I feel fortunate. I think most artists are like that. We can, you can lock us in a room and boy, we'll, we'll find something to do or create or make or, you know, we will find something. But, um, not gonna lie this is still difficult so I'm just working on this today and I'm finishing this up the, the uh, one good thing about the quarantine is there's lots of time to finish or start 
projects that you've been wanting to do. And this is just one I've been wanting to do for quite some time. So I'd like to do another art tutorial coming up soon and I would love to hear from you guys what you would like to see. Last time we did an art tutorial, we did um, donuts and that was really fun. And you can go back on my uh, through my videos and you can see the donut painting tutorial. Very easy, very fun, um, all ages tutorial. So um, you can check that out. I also have another video you might like that is about upcycling, like stuff like this. Um, and I give a bunch of other examples of things I've done in the past. And if you're looking for more ideas, I would go look for that video under my uh, videos on my channel. So, I don't know, let's talk varnish for a minute since I'm doing this. You see, I'm working in very small areas at a time because that is how varnish works the best. <laughs> at least in my experience, I see some people that can just pour it out, varnish over their painting like literally pour some out onto it and then work it around the painting. That terrifies me. Um, if you're working in a space that's too warm or anything, it's going to set up really fast and you're going to get a really streaky finish. But if you know what you're doing, I'm sure it's a nice technique. I just haven't been able to master that one. So I like to play it safe and work in very small areas with a very thin coat and I'll generally apply about three coats of varnish on any given item before I'm satisfied. I'm on coat two here. Art therapy, guys, it's priceless. Much cheaper than actual therapy. <laughs> All right, guys, so I am done varnishing my second coat here, and I will be putting a third coat, and I still have to finish the side and the back and all that stuff, but I won't bore you guys with that. Um, I just wanted to give you guys some ideas today of some things that you could do at home to keep yourself occupied, hopefully try and inspire you to create some art. And um, while we can still get some things on Amazon, if you don't have any paints at home, there's some great paint sets on Amazon that you should be able to still get. Um, my, if you want some like craft paints, I love createforless.com. Check out createforless.com. They have free shipping on orders over $50. And they have some really great prices on their Ceramco uh, craft paint. Otherwise, if you're looking for a paint set, like I said, there's some great paint sets on um, Amazon right now. And if you're looking for some artist quality paints, I would suggest if you have a Michaels in the area, you can actually place an order online and they have curbside pickup. So that is one way that you can get art supplies to yourself right now as well. And Michaels generally has great sales, um, decent prices, and um, they're generally, you know, really convenient to shop with. So hopefully one of those will help you out. Um, I want to wish everybody out there safe, safety and health. Please stay home during this time. Um, be well to each other. Try and give back to your community and let's take care of one another. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.